Hello everyone, another episode of TypeScript Fundamentals is here and today we will be talking about function parameters annotations. We will discuss in details return types such as void and never types. Even though we got a lot of really cool feature additions in both ES2015 and TypeScript, functions still remain fundamental building blocks of any JavaScript application. Because we have so many of them in our programs, it's definitely useful to have some typings around functions. So let's see how we can enhance our functions using type annotations. We are back in our Rainbow application and at the beginning I just want to remind you that you can always get the source code of this lesson in my GitHub repository under oleconic slash rainbow and for this particular video you can find the branch named func params return types. To start we will do some super quick refactoring of our code. We will create this new function called mutate element and we will move all code that is related to DOM manipulation into this function. So let's just cut this piece and we will place it inside of the new function mutate element and this function will be taking a few arguments the first one will be lid which stands for element id of course another one will be style and the third one int which stands for interval inside of this function we will replace those references that we had before with those parameter names and this function will be called inside of main function so now we can slowly get rid of our global variables here on top so we'll directly pass the values background color let's change it to back to border color so it looks nicer and interval will be integer. Now we are okay to get rid of those three global variables right on top. Save this. Let's quickly run our compiler to double check that application is working. Looks fine. We are not getting any console log errors, which is good. At this moment, there is absolutely no type checking for mutate element function and as usually in JavaScript we can just put anything we want in here so we can replace the element ID which we know should be a string with a number At the place where number should be we can put an array of something and JavaScript will never tell us that there is a problem but of course our application will fail miserably yeah we can see this crazy stuff going on here so what we can do about all this fortunately TypeScript provides a way for us to make a type annotation for our function parameters and we can do that directly in the function declaration as we remember element ID is supposed to be a string so we'll put it right here this is a syntax semicolon and the type name we already seen this syntax before style as we remember is a special case we will be using our custom union type valid style name the same way we can use it right here and for interval we use number perfect so now when we are trying to do those crazy changes here we will get warning right away with a clear error message telling us that argument of type 1 to 3 which is integer is not assignable to parameter type of string so right here we prevented runtime error that could have happened if we put the wrong input into the function so we will turn it back so our mutate element function gets the proper input when we hover over function name, we can see that function parameters are annotated with proper types. 
But another interesting thing that we might notice that we have this return type stated here at the end with semicolon void. In case of generate color function, we can see that it infers string return type, which is expected since we are using the string method here in our return statement. So far, we've been seeing inferred return types, but as usually, we can explicitly make return type annotations, of course. So we'll put string here and we'll put void here. So what this return type annotation gives us, for example, if for some reason somewhere in our code, we will decide to multiply the return of mutate element function by five, it will tell us right away that we cannot do this since function is not returning anything, so we cannot multiply it in any way. So when I'm saying that function is not returning anything, what I actually mean is it returns undefined value. To illustrate this, let's use our node REPL in the terminal. So what, what we're gonna do, we will console log another console log function call. So console log function call is not returning anything, but let's see what it prints out. So what we see is this undefined value that was printed, which means if we try to multiply it by five, it will return not a number, which means we cannot multiply undefined by five, of course. It is important to understand this since just in a moment we will be discussing difference between void and never return types. Till now we've been working with function declaration, putting type annotations around this function. Let's see how we can work with function expressions. We know that this is another way to declare a function in our program, which is to assign anonymous function to a variable. So we will create this dummy function. We'll call it add numbers. It's gonna be anonymous function. And it will take x and y. And as you would expect, we will return some of those two numbers. So this function can be annotated pretty much the same way as we can see, have seen in function expression x will be a number as well as y. But of course, return value also gonna be a number. So we will call this function something like this and it, work, it would work fine. Another option that we have is a little different syntax which might look a little confusing but after seeing it a few times you will definitely see the pattern. So we will turn our function back so it does not have any annotations and syntax looks something like this. So we will have semicolon here, we will have our parameter annotations. First number is our second number and it returns number. We use this fat arrow here. So this is so-called contextual typing but it gives us the same result. So now when we call this function with the wrong parameters in there, it will tell us about that. Let's talk in a little more details about return types. We already understand that function can return any valid type and we have two kind of special cases like void that we have seen right here plus never type. So let's try to understand what that is. So we'll create this another dummy function with name alert me. Fix this typo. This function will alert user. So the third type of return value is void, which means this function is not intended to return any meaningful data. But if we try to assign another type right here, TypeScript will tell us that if function is not void or any, it has to return value, but we are not returning anything. Another special case is never return type. To demonstrate this, we will create error thrower function. So all it's gonna do, it will throw error right at the beginning of execution. 
So now for this function we can specify return type as never, which means that this function will never reach the end of the execution. It will never go past this line. Another case of using never type will be infinite loop while true. So in this case function execution will also never finish. It's not a very common case but in the latest versions of TypeScript it is supported. Well today we went through function annotations. We have seen special cases of return types such as void and never. Please subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.